Starting at the Mark Hatfield West Trailhead, we could quickly turn left for the dreaded High Line Road Climb. Let me get a group shot of the happy campers who have just finished the climb. The High Line Road Climb is a little over 320 feet and a mile long, averaging 4% but with pitches exceeded 10%. It's a tough way to begin a run. After High Line, you continue to ascend but at a much more gentle pace. And it's just after High Line that the real show begins, beginning with picturesque orchards and farms before one postcard-worthy view of Mount Hood after another hits you in the face. Nearly eight miles into the ride, we turn south and switch channels from the Y East show to the Klickitat show. And what an amazing show it is. Just before mile nine, our trip north is interrupted by a short stretch on Kingdom Road, which, to our surprise, was a gravel road that looked more like a driveway. But, oh, but roadies always appreciate a little bike handling skills challenge in the middle of a ride, right? Once back on Thompson Road, we continue our rolling descent north with Clickitat guiding the way. At about mile 11, we turn west for a short climb up the flanks of Van Horn Butte to Pine Grove, enjoying yet another great view of Y East along the way. From Pine Grove, we head north again, enjoying more views of Klickitat. On our return flight, we stop at the aptly named Panorama Point. A short, steep little climb is rewarded by yet more picture-perfect views. After Panorama Point, we get to spend all that elevation we earned on the High Line Road climb. So we bought an e-ticket thrill-ride descent back to the Columbia River Highway. Shortly after our descent, we pass by the Hatfield Park as we continue east on the old Columbia Highway Trail. The trail features beautiful views of the Columbia River as well as a thrilling ride through the Mosier Twin Tunnels. Tell me that you love me truthfully But empty words have got no use for me So show me Just show me yeah. Well your shirt is all stained from the heart on your sleeve Finally, at about mile 20, we reach our turnaround point with the fantastic view of the mighty Columbia River at Bingen Gap. After this, it's a beautiful four-mile ride back through the Mosher Tunnels and back to the trail. To face down that big mistake that you blew it. Thanks for watching. And you knew it. Am I the dashing young prince in your fairy tale? Or was it just another slice of slightly stale bologna? Talk a good game and I wanna believe But if you really wanna prove your love then just show